How vast is our solar system, really? Suppose humans could board a spacecraft that travels at the speed of light. Could we escape the boundaries of the solar system? First, we must understand that light speed about 3000000 kilometers per second is the ultimate speed limit in the universe. That's fast enough to circle Earth 75 times in just one second. At this speed, it would take only 1.3 seconds to reach the moon from Earth. Although the moon seems close, the distance between Earth and the moon could fit about 30 Earth diameters in between. After just three minutes of light speed travel, we would reach Mars. When it's at its closest, Mars is around 55 million kilometers from Earth, hence why even light takes a few minutes to get there. To put this into perspective, a bullet train travels at 350 km per hour, while light speed is an astonishing 108 billion km per hour. In about 35 minutes, we would pass through the dense asteroid belt and arrive at Jupiter, located roughly 600 million km away. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Its iconic great red spot known as the Eye of Jupiter has been swirling for over 350 years. After 1.2 hours, we would reach Saturn, the ring jewel of the solar system. Two and a half hours in, we'd arrive at Uranus, which orbits the sun on its side due to a 97 degree axial tilt, rolling like a bowling ball through space. After four hours, we would reach Neptune, the outermost planet, sitting at a distance of approximately 4.3 billion kilometers from Earth. But even here, we're not yet outside the solar system, pushing onward at light speed, we enter a zone of icy bodies known as the Kuiper Belt home to dwarf planets like Pluto. From Earth, it would take about seven hours to fly past the Kuiper Belt completely. What lies beyond is even more mysterious. The Oort Cloud, a vast spherical shell made of icy objects surrounding the solar system. This marks the true boundary. Only after passing through this cloud can we say we've officially exited the solar system. But there's a catch. The Oort cloud's radius is estimated to be about one light year. Even traveling at light speed, it would take a full year to get through it. So, escaping the solar system is no easy feat. 